Good morning children. Today we are going to study the action of litmus paper in acidic and basic solutions and to find the pH with the help of pH paper. Now before we go any further I will explain this experiment to you. You will be given two solutions, solution A and solution B and you will be asked to find out which is acidic and which is basic using the following. You'll be given red litmus paper, you'll be given blue litmus paper and you will be given pH paper which is called the universal indicator. It's yellow in color. Now all you have to do is to put the red and blue litmus paper in solution A and note your readings. But before we go any further, I want to give you a little trick. Acids. The word starts with A, C, I, D. Between the letters A and C, the letter B is missing. So in an acid, B, blue litmus turns red. So remember that one. In an acid, blue litmus turns red. In a base, red litmus turns blue. That's an important trick for you to know. Now, you have to see what you get with the litmus papers and the pH paper using each solution individually. So I take red litmus paper, I take a piece using a forcep and I dip the red litmus paper in my solution A. So what has happened? Red litmus paper remained red. I take blue litmus paper and I dip it in solution A and I notice that blue litmus paper turns red. So already I've got an indication if blue turns red then A is an acid. Now pH paper has a scale, a pH scale. If I take pH paper and dip it in the solution, I can see the pH paper turns red. Now we have a pH scale here and a red would be pH scale with number 1. So we can easily say that this pH number is 1. I now write down what I see in my journal. So. Solution A, red litmus remained red, blue litmus turned red, the color of pH paper was red and the number of pH paper is 1 and hence the inference or the conclusion is solution A is acidic. Okay, now I'd like you to be very careful, don't write R arrow R, please write red arrow red, blue B-L-U-E, arrow red. Don't write just the initials please children. Now we will do the same experiment with solution B. I take my red litmus and I dip it in solution B. And I notice that the red litmus has turned blue. So in B red litmus has turned blue. I take a little bit of blue litmus and put it in B. I notice that blue litmus remains blue. And then I take a little pH paper and I dip it in solution B. pH paper is yellow in color. You can see it's turned dark blue. Now when I compare it to the strip, dark blue would be number 14. And hence I would write the pH number is number 14 because it is coincided with the number 14. So how do I write it in my journal? I write solution B. Red litmus turns blue. Blue litmus remains blue. Action on pH paper it turns dark blue. pH number is 14. And hence my inference or conclusion is 
that this solution is basic or it is a base because red litmus turned blue and pH paper is dark blue. So one thing you must remember on the pH scale, the pH scale is from 1 to 14, where 7 is neutral, water is pH 7, it's neutral, 1 to 7 is acidic and 8 to 14 is basic. So you must remember on the pH scale 1 to 7 is acidic and 8 to 14 is basic. I do hope you've understood this experiment. Thank you children.